Greetings, it is I, Eamon. Welcome to a Toast tutorial. Are you having difficulty displaying the order of your modifier groups in the way that you want? If you're mixing default modifiers with individual item modifier groups, you may run into the same problem that I did. Uh, I had the size, because we use sized base pricing, at one point actually showing up down here below. I had the wrong order of these items, and it was a little bit more cumbersome to fix than I wanted it to be. I want to walk you through the couple different things that I found out in my investigation. So uh, we are in a menu group here, our Frappe menu group. You can see I've got several Frappe items in here, and you can see I've got a modifier group. I've got two modifier groups attached to this whole menu group. So each of these items are going to have these two modifier groups, and, and I'll prove it. Here's that Frappe one, and here's the Frappe extras here on the Toast ordering screen. Now, if you have uh, an item in here, let's go into this Blondie Frappe. If you have in an individual item, so I've got size-based pricing, and then I've got a modifier group, this Frappe flavor. Now, these modifier groups are going to show up underneath any of your default modifier groups. So here's the Frappe flavor. The problem I had is that when we first had Toast build out our menus, we had all of our menu groups here as individual item menu groups, uh, or excuse me, modifier groups. So when I started using Toast more efficiently and actually plugging up on these menus um, just in one spot here instead of in each individual item, the modifier groups that are going to be shared by all the items, it started throwing things out of order. Uh, my solution that I found best is to simply take out, and it was time consuming if it's built this way, take out the Frappe and Frappe Extras from each individual item and put it here just by going add and copy existing, or excuse me, add existing modifier group and uh, just add it in here on the whole menu group itself. Now, there are other ways to do this. If you go into UI options, so I like to use this search bar and just type in UI options, and here it is right here. If you go into UI options, way down here, kind of towards the middle, um, is this modifier ordering priority checkbox. If you select yes here, then you can go into each individual item. I'm going to go back into the Blondie Frappe um, and into this modifier group. And right here in each modifier group, there's a display ordering priority. So you can actually put in here the display ordering priority for each modifier group. Lower numbers prioritize first, so you can put zero. You can put a negative number here if you just want to force something to always display at the top. Okay, here's the catch. I did this at first, and uh, I went back here, and I checked things, and lo and behold, the size was actually at the bottom. And I said, okay, what the heck is going on here? Okay, if that happens to you, go back. Uh, let's go here to Advanced Properties. I'm going to go into the Frappe, Frappes, and we're going to show doo -doo -doo, ordering priority. Uh, what happens is your size on each item is actually a modifier group. Okay, so you would have to go in here on each item and force these to the top by putting negative one or something. Well, that was defeating the purpose for my uh, example here. I didn't want to go in each item and have to put stuff. So what I did in our case was just pull out the, the frappes groups that needed to be on all of the frappes. That way the size continues to go to the top because I don't have to use that UI options priority, and I'll show you that again here in UI options, I don't have to check this. Okay, if you wanted to manually select the ordering priority for all of them, feel free to check this. Um, I feel like it's hard for me to imagine a situation where that would be advantageous. Hope this has been helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If it has been, I will be creating more tutorials like this this year. Hope you have a great day. You're awesome. Bye.